Hi friends, Sandy McIver here. Hope you're having a great week. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this batik background for this card. I started by using my water media mat. This is from Waffle Flower and it's silicone. Non-stick, waterproof, heat resistant, flexible, and it cleans up with soap and water. I am absolutely loving this thing and you're going to be seeing it a whole bunch more. To create this fun background, I'm starting with Hero Arts watercolors, and I'm using four colors, pine, leaf, teal, and indigo. And these guys have little uh, daubers inside, so I'm just going to squeeze a few drops into these really neat little portals that are going down the size of this media mat. One of the many things I love about it. So it'll keep your colors separated, but you can add water and you can smoosh it around. You can do all kinds of things. I've actually done two cards today on this, so there's another video coming with the leftover ink that I had from this one and so you'll see I'm adding the four colors then I'm going to add some water to them just to dilute them a little bit and so next I am using a large brush and I'm going to put a small amount of water onto the mat and then place my uh, this is Ranger watercolor paper so it's very very thick and it's seven inches long and I think it's about five inches wide and now I'm going to flood the entire front of it with water that way I'm not going to get really big splotches. I've got four brushes. I'm going to use one for each color and you'll see that I start picking up the ink and I just start blending it all over this piece of beautiful watercolor paper. And you want to make sure that your ink is a little bit diluted so that you don't have big dark splotches that you can't move around. And keep your surface wet the entire time. That will help blend the colors. And basically you're just going to use your two primary ones and mine was the light green and the uh, teal. I like those as my main colors and the other ones are kind of my little background so I'm just adding a smaller amount of them and I'm just going to keep adding and blending until I have the entire piece covered which is just shortly here. You'll see there's, I decide that all of a sudden there's a little bit too much of that leaf green and I start adding a little bit more teal and indigo to it just to tone it down a little bit. Uh, and the reason being is I'm going to be stamping over top of this with a darker ink. So you don't want a real big contrast going on. You want it to be kind of batiki. That's the look we're going for. All right, so I'm almost finished. And I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to let the colors run for a little bit. And you'll see that I have a couple die cuts there. They're die cut um, in watercolor paper as well. And I'm just going to show you quickly here. I get some of those ready when I'm playing with this. And then I add some mist to the work surface. And I turn these little guys over and I pick up this ink. And then that way I'm not wasting any of this awesome ink. And I have another border for another project down the road and I actually got to do two of these because I had so much ink going on so just a little prep time ahead of time and you can have a little fun at the end to make a little bit bigger of a mess uh, before you carry on with the card that you're working on. Once the piece is dry, I'm going to pop it into my Misty, and you'll see why I made it seven inches long. The uh, stamp I'm going to be using is a six by six, and I left an inch so that my magnets had something to attach to. So I'm putting this awesome leafy bold background stamp. It's also from Hero Arts and adding it in there and then I'm going to use a Hero Arts ink and it's called Aquatic and this is that day that I wished I had bought in large ink pads. <laughs> it's six by six stamp and I'm trying to ink it up with one of the little ink squares so I may fix that and order a couple of the big ink pads and I ended up stamping this twice and you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of lumpy whites going on. This is because of the Ranger watercolor paper being extremely lumpy but it plays to the batik look. So for my card I decided that I didn't really like all those little white spots showing and so I got my Zig Marco 031 and that's the cobalt blue and I colored in the colors. And I've decided for this one, I'm going to leave it. So here's the card with the um, one that's filled in and then the one beside it that we just did. I'm not going to fill in those white spots. I'm Okay, stamps that I used. I used the tropical flowers for all the pieces around the wreath, and there are coordinating dies that go with those as well. And then for the sentiments, the Christmas, I used Wonder and Magic of Christmas, and I had to slice off the little ES at the end. And then for the hugs, that came from the Hello Stamp and Cut set. And again, I just whacked off that little word at the end. So there you go. 
My final embellishment, I used the Nouveau Crystal Drops in Mustard Gold because I thought it went nice with that mere gold that I used for my wreath. So the list of the supplies are underneath the video here and there's also a link to my blog because I loaded a PDF for you with all the cutting instructions and a step-by-step -step on how to put the card together along with a detailed list of the products that I used today for the card and I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. I would appreciate that and until next time, toodles.